Welcome back to East Book 1 and 2 on the PC Engine CD. I designate PC Engine CD because I've already spoken at length about how different every version of this game is. So, yeah, if you're still... looking for a particular playthrough, or you see me playing this and you want to go, Yeah, but what version is this? This is very different from the one I played. Well, yeah, but you have it up in the title cards, too, so... Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to see. Hey, Tarf, how you doing? So, I hope everybody remembers the weird sequence of quests that we've been going on once we've gotten here, because I sure don't. Oh, right, you got turned into a monster by Jim Cummings last time, didn't you? I did. Um, so... The, in short, what we're doing right now is we're here at Solomon's Shrine, we need to go talk to the goddesses. Um, we need because we need to get into Solomon's Shrine, the depths of it, in order to save the world? Uh, question mark? <laughs> Vaguely. Did you max level? No. But I'll get uh. to that. I did a little grinding. Uh, specifically because um, the enemies were actually starting to hit back kind of hard. And I need know you need to be near max level uh, by the end of the game. So I did a little bit more grinding just to get me a little bit more ahead of the game. As soon as you hit, I have no idea what level I am. I was gonna say 59. As soon as you hit 59, which is 85,000 experience, like experiences on the screen, I know what that number is. As soon as you hit 85,000 experience and level up, your HP and MP jump straight to 255. Like, when I was at, like, 84,900, I had, like, 220 HP, and it had been going up by, like, 10 H... 5 HP a level. Like, hey, I give you 215. Hey, I give you 220. Here's 255. I think our other stats still keep going up, though, as we continue leveling. Um, experience tops off at 99,000. 999. So I'm kind of hoping that we hit that by the end, but uh, if not, it really would not take long just to go back down to our little mine shaft and keep at it. But anyway, uh, to the task at hand, our immediate goal is getting in to see the goddesses. We learned that the path to them is gotten there through the canals, but we have to drain the canals in order to get to the passage. Right, um, you made that sewer count joke during that whole thing. So, that was our immediate goal. We got a key from Keith that will let us now open, or drain the canals, so we can go in to the path to get to where the goddesses are. Right, Keith, the the, the very normal name-sounding demon. Um, before we do that, there are two other things that I want to do. So we're going to hop back in first, and this is going to take me like 10,000 years to find, because I don't remember what this place was like or how to play this game. Oh, I need to refill my... I need to refill my MP. If I ever find one of those friggin' seeds again, I'll do it. I was just sitting here going like, why is his, M why is his HP like... one? Ah, this is it! You can use the master key here! This is a room I missed. And you get... The Battle Shield! Oh, is this the same thing from last time? Yeah, Wait, we got that Master Key last time, and I never got around... I never found this particular room. No, 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 I was talking more like the whole... Like, the battle equipment was the best equipment. But oh, you still need yeah. Silver equipment Close, for the last but not quite. Um, okay, anyway, there's also something else I want to do, so I'm going to return... to... Rance. Yeah, Rance Village. So remember this wow. guy over here that wanted, like, iron in order to give you stuff? Oh, did you finally get that? Um, I didn't get it, but I have an, an idea where it is, so I'm gonna go try to find it. Listen, I saw those doors over there with the uh, the little light bulb things you have to hit, and my first thought was like, you know what, I, un I unironically called light bulbs light globes the other day. Aha! Fuck. 
found it! So, if you use the light spell... You would have seen it from this side. Hmm. But it's down here. This is the passageway over to this side. Like, the right side of the map. I always, like, got what I needed and then just left, and I didn't think about it anymore. But if you kept it on, you probably would have seen this, and that's where you get the iron ore. Which means that you get it after the boss. I was under the... Or I was thinking maybe the reason I was getting one-shotted was because they, like, wanted you to have the better equipment before you fought him or something. But no, you have to fight the boss for that. So I still don't understand why that boss one-shots me. It's like, hold on, guys. I think Yoko Taru's messing with us again. And then you find out it was an actual bug in the system, and it's like, oh, but you could believe it for a moment, could What was you? that one bug where, like, it a dragon dra showed up or something? Yeah. See, here's the thing, it's like, if you were in a specific Dark Knight quest, a red dragon would show up. I'm gonna I mean, I have max it. money, but whatever. Thanks, this will be a great help. Okay. Let's finish this, and then I'll talk about it. Um, yeah, give me that armor. There we go. Now we can get these that we already have. But hey, that's... That part of off of our conscience. And what I'm doing from here is going down here and casting Magic of Return, because we're going to the runaway hideout. Do I get a moment to continue on that whole thing, or...? In a second. In a second, gotcha. Because now that we're in the runaway hideout, I went here because this is the closest place to where we need to be. To yeah, deactivate. That's not how you get there. Um, this is the closest place we need to be to deactivate the water. To lower the water. Yes, we're going to deactivate water. Just turn it off. Like a TV. As soon as I figure out how to heck and get out of here... You know what, go ahead, I may be a minute. Oh, well the whole point was if you were on a specific Dark Knight quest, that specific quest was like, you have to watch a dragon slowly die, like it's its time to die and everything. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's it makes you slowly understand. I saw a treasure chest over there. Yeah, I'll get to that. Oh hey, I it's... found it! This is it. Okay. Now that we have the key, we can go here. And we can push a button. That's not ominous. And get experience. And then we go outside, and the water drains. That was a pretty rock, that was a pretty heckin' good water draining. For the PC uh -huh. engine? For the PC engine? That was pretty heckin' good. Not yeah, quite as like... good as uh, Link's, Link's, uh, Link to the Past, but, um, I mean, you know, like... next console and all. Yeah, this was like what NES, Super NES, Genesis era. But it's still yeah, pretty this good. is it's a it's a half generation ahead of the NES. Yeah, because this is the CD add-on to the Turbo Graphics, basically. Yeah, but like honestly, all the CD it's just the Turbo Graphics. All the CD add-on did is let them play like CD music. That's all anybody ever used it for. It works anyway. So yeah, it's like a dying red dragon and everything. And if you were in the last boss of the first run of that raid, for some odd reason it would show up there, and people could not tell if it was Yoko Taro messing with everyone. Because, like, dragon, like one of the Dragon Guard games is you're paired up with a red dragon who is secretly like, dying or something. So it was just one of those moments of, like, did he? And it's like, no, it's just the bug or something. Like, it just flagged the data, character, the data in the character wrong, and that just happened. I but think I we remember could try it for a moment. Yeah, for I a think moment. I remember. I think I remember at the time saying that, like, yes, it was a bug, but even if Yoko Taro touched literally nothing in Final Fantasy, the only reason that bug happened at all is because he was nearby. It. Pro I'm gonna be honest. It probably was. There was, like, come on, a dying red dragon, and it happens to deal with. Dragon Guard, which is like the prequel series to Mir. It's like it's definitely one of those like 
Are you sure it's a bug? I mean, I could literally 100% buy it that Yoko Taru is just messing with us. The battle armor. A. Hey. I mean, I thought he's still the dude who goes around in that moon mask. Yeah. It's good, old, saw, good old Emil. Apparently, he saw Majora's mask and just went like, "Yes, I want that on my head 24/7." Well, it's not a moon; it's a meal. I know, I know. It's just it reminds me of the moon from Majora's mask. Mm -hmm. Okay, so at this point, I'm just kind of wandering around for a while, um, because we have a whole new area to explore, and I don't even think any enemies show up down here. Did you I've just mentioned put before. On your art? I did. Okay, cool. I've mentioned this before, but I don't. Just as kind of a, an off-topic tangent. Is it the maps again? But I don't have any problem being overleveled in this game, because as far as like you guys watching videos of this go. It affects literally nothing. Like, there's no additional skill or anything that comes from lower, being lower leveled in combat, because it's you bump the enemy and hope you win. So, like, all being under leveled does is it means I have to stop and heal more often. That's literally all it does. And it's, it's just a line of can I beat this boss or not? Does he kill me before I kill him or not? Uh, the inevitable, this is what grinding was made for kind of thing. Yeah. So, like, because it does nothing, I have no problems being overleveled in this game. Normally, like, I don't like being overleveled because it affects the video. Like, you guys aren't going to see nearly as fun an experience when you just kind of smear everything. But it's just the way the mechanics in this game are. I saw that chest and I want it. I know. I think we all saw that chest and went like, I don't really kind of want that chest. How now I know I how it enters. How do I get it, though? <laughs> You're probably going to forget it and be like, oh, it was probably not important. And it's like, no, it's the most important thing in the game. Actually, I think it's heckin' important. So heckin' what important, you had to say heckin' instead of the other word. I, I'm oh, trying. Right here. There we go. Trying so hard not to swear anymore. Mostly for YouTube. Mostly for you. Less for the audience. <laughs> I don't. The care. Idol of Falcon. Okay, so um, something I didn't mention is oh, we have the Idol of Hawk and the Idol of Falcon. We picked this up, and I just kind of figured it was going to be a plot thing, but no, it's actually real useful. The Hawk Idol when you activate it, adds a homing ability to your fire magic. So you shoot out a fireball and it, it'll turn, and I think at 90 degree angles, and home in on the enemy. Uh, the Idol of Falcon adds multi-homing. I mean, you can say that all you want, but now I'm just stuck thinking it's like... I gotta find something to shoot. Hold up. I gotta find <laughs> something to shoot that I don't just smear just respawn to as you left. Yeah, but if I walk back into that room, he's just gonna get murdered again. See, the thing is, is you say the uh, the idol of Hawk and the idol of Falcon, and my first thought is like, you know what, I'm gonna admit it, the Band of the Hawk was a better name than Band of the Falcon. Look, Band of the Hawk was free and... Like, Ooh. I want... I want... I 100 Yeah, get wrecked! <laughs> That's hilarious. I 100% the buy battle the sword. There it is. I 100% buy the whole setup was the Millennium Falcon joke thing, but come on, Band of the Hawk just has a better ring to it. It does. It's hard to describe, but like it absolutely does. God, I can't believe it was saying that stupid. It's like I'm gonna make a Millennium Falcon joke out of this, and it's like you better not. It's I like love I how it. all of his friggin' early chapters were named after such dumb crap. Oh my god, there's so much. It, like, oh, I haven't been paying attention to if he still does it. There's so much. Like, you, you do My Hero Academia, sometimes he throws in random Star Wars stuff. Like, one area of Japan they go to is named Hasu. Mm. And you go like, oh, that's nothing. But then you realize Hasu would just be basically the Japanese way of saying Hoth. Yeah. And it's like, oh, god damn it. <laughs> it's like... Sometimes, 
It's 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 getting to those points where it's like sometimes it's just it sucks being a nerd just because you get this nerd stuff out of there and you go like, oh, I didn't need that reference. I think that's where I came from. And so when he started writing new books after that, he was writing them in a way that people didn't necessarily understand. Like this wasn't necessarily what we wanted out of a book. So he was so he was kind of like, okay, I have to write more book at this point that I didn't really want to write in the first place. But okay, fine, whatever. I'll write more book. And then it was going in a new direction, a direction that he kind of wanted to take himself in as an ex as expressing himself as an artist. Um and then that was book four, and then book five, he started, like, getting... I think he was dealing with, like, depression and crap, and he was getting real bitter about... kind of having to write the books over and over again anyway. So that's when he just wrote kind of a jerk ending. There's our goal. He wrote kind of a jerk ending to five. And it was even later on that he started... Um, much later on in his life that he started thinking, like, I need to write a book six. Like, that was just such a bad ending. I need to write a book six. Like, give everything a good ending. Um, but then he died. He got book six out, didn't he? He did not. Book six oh, was didn't. written by somebody else. Uh, um, the rights holders, which I think was his surviving family, some said, we know that he wanted a better conclusion to this story than this. Um, so they went and found a writer that was really renowned for writing stuff kind of in a similar vein. He was a big fan of this stuff. And they said, like, we want you to write this book, to write this fi finale. And even at the time, that writer was like, you what? I'm never going to be able to live up to that. You what? Okay, we have to remember this guy. We got to come back to him later. Um, but he eventually... Oh, yeah. Almost people got petrified. Yeah. Oh. But he eventually did. He eventually did come out with the sixth book. And he did his best to write, like, effectively the best ending that he possibly could for everyone. And it does come off a, as a little bit fanfic -y. Like, just too many good things line up to make that perfect ending. But it's also kind of... People get it. And it's an alright ending. God dang it, I'm heckin' lost. See everybody in like 20 minutes whenever I get to where I need to go. Okay, we went down here, right? The only thing over here was that thing. Wait, did I go this way? I don't know if you did. I'm a genius. Perfect, exactly where I wanted to be, back on the surface. Wait, Keith? I just saw you down there. Adol, it's me, Keith. The Belfry is not far from here. The sacrificial ritual is about to begin. I walked by this. I walked right by this. At the sound of the fifth bell, the young girl Maria will be executed. Adel, you must try to help her. Eh, someday. Ah! Guy coming at you. Yeah. Look, just give me some HP back. Must have been walking around down there for 20 minutes. I don't even know how much I'm gonna keep in. If I cut out, like, literally all of it, then I was at one point talking about the six books of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. That was cool. There was that bit about you. We did it! And genius. We made it! Made it to where the goddesses are. And what was that door underground that we need to deal with? We'll get to that. Okay. You hear a very soft and beautiful voice. We are the goddesses of East. Please come forward. Ah, 
I'm glad you've made it here. We are in dire need of a courageous warrior. The power of your silver pendant helped you to reach this point. Because we needed that silver pendant to go through the left goddess statue, which led us to the canals in the first place. Without that, we wouldn't, uh... We wouldn't have got here. You will need the golden pendant to get to the inner core of the shrine. The wizard has cast many of our people to stone. One of these unfortunate souls has the pendant. The dreaming stone idol is hidden in the belfry. This idol can help return these people to their human form. If you can bring the idol back here, I will show you how to use it. Okay. Go to the belfry. Get the idol. Come back. Learn how to use it. Turn people back to normal. Get a golden medallion. Come back. Use the golden medallion. Do something. Profit. Okay, so the Belfry is actually nearby. I, I think these are the guys that reflect. No, they don't. Okay, whatever. I think you said that last time with these guys. Yeah, I mean, it's... Every new enemy I see, it's like, it's this guy! No, no. It's this guy! No, no. So this is the Belfry. Um... Kinda need that equipped. Can I even use any of these? What do I want to have equipped if I am? Can use that Falcon Idol. Get some, get some damage going. Oh man, he's big and mean. Hit the wrong button. Okay. Uh, it doesn't work. Well, you turn two of the bats red so far. Yeah, the goal is to turn... I don't know how many of them. Because he just makes more. The goal is not to turn them red, it's to turn them into dead. Um, he eventually stops making them. You can see his health going down. Oh man, get that guitar riff. I don't think we've ever heard this song long enough to hear it. Ah. Hit him. We did it. Good job, team. Ah, uh, my bad, so I'm dead now. Oh yeah, get that X. And now we enter the Belfry. But we've been going for I don't even know how long or how long that's going to be cut. So you know what? Belfry next time. Until then, everybody.